Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Duford's gym leader, Brawly, and in today's episode, we're actually going to go and explore the cave which we were told about, hopefully in search of Stevo. I know. Stevo's been, you know, evading us. Stevo's been running around, you know, hiding from us. It seems like he doesn't want to be my friend anymore. You know, you take you take one guy's nurse joy, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Stevo gets all up mad at me, gets all mad gets crazy mad but let's go ahead and make our way inside if you guys remember we actually couldn't make our way inside of this area before until we defeated Brawly but let's see what Steve has been up to seems like there are a couple paintings on the wall it looks like uh, I see an Omega sign I see volcanoes and what looked like a huge creature Wow that that is beautiful whatever that is that looks absolutely amazing whoever put this on here uh, took some serious work and hey what's up Steve oh what, what have you been up to my friend Mm. So in the ancient world, the primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm, it seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm? You are? Oh, I see. It's a pleasure, Rodri. My apologies, my name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today my journey brought me here, but what about you? Oh, a letter for me? So there we go, we finally gave Steven the letter. Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. All right, we obtained a TM-51 Steel Wing. Let me go ahead and teach that to Zagu real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Zagu can't learn that, guys, if, if you didn't know that. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes, but not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think that you have in you what it takes to become a Pokemon League champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Good luck to you. I must be going now. See you, Steve-O. Until next time, my friend. I really appreciate you calling me a champion, man. <laughs> Not many people support me, man. My mom doesn't even want to make me waffles. The only guy that ever supports me is the guy at the beginning of the gyms. And it says it is a cave painting that depicts a giant Pokemon-like creature wreaking havoc. Now, it have, oh, it says there's a symbol resembling the character Omega on each of the beast's two arms. If I had to go ahead and guess, I'd say that's Groudon. But what the Omega symbols mean, I'm not sure. He seems to be, you know, throwing out Flamethrower and there's some weird volcanoes. But other than that, I'm not really sure what's to come. Let's go ahead and use another Repel then. Let's make our way out of here, guys. Because it seems like we've done everything we could here at this point. There's something really, really strange going on with Groudon here. I'm assuming that if you're playing Alpha Sapphire, instead of seeing Groudon on that wall, you would probably see Kyogre. And Steven would probably tell you pretty much the same thing, except that, you know, the Pokemon has an Alpha on it. But with that, guys, we're pretty much done here in Doofer Town. So let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Briny and see what else we have in store for us. Hey, looks like you, you have delivered your cheer goods. Ah, oh, but that reminds me, I had a mess with Percent No. It's about them Darren parts you recovered for him. Seems as though you should go to some fellow called Stern at Slateport Shipyard. Oh, cool, so we're finally gonna get to go to Slateport. So let's go ahead and get on sailing. I love the wind in my face. I love, you know, my do-rag flowing in the air. I'm just, you know, I love wearing uh, the, the do-rag, the white do-rag our character is wearing. No idea why he wears that. I can't be the only one that when you originally played this game, you thought this kid had white hair. I know. I, I was definitely one of those people. I thought he just had white hair and I didn't know much more about it. So, huh, that was just one of those types of people. Alright guys, with that, let's go ahead and make our way to the shipyard then. And see if we can find uh, the man that everyone's been talking about. Where is the shipyard? This looks a little bit different. I think the shipyard is right. No, that's not the shipyard. There's a bunch of Team Magma Grunts up there, which means we're not going to be able to enter that yet. The shipyard must be over here to the right. Am I correct? Mm, nope. This is a lighthouse looking thing. Okay, let's go look around for the shipyard. Come on, I, I can find this. I can find this without too much trouble. I should probably start reading signs. Uh, shipyard? Shipyard anywhere here? Oh, there we go, guys. With that, we found Stern's shipyard. So let's walk inside and see if Stern's going to be over here. Yo, Stern! Stern, you over here, man? Is that Stern over there? And this goes here and that goes over there. And what does this thing do? And what about that doohickey? I can't make heads or tails of this. Huh, you? Oh, sorry, I'm Doc. 
Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a fairy. Oh, those parts you have, those are the Devon parts. This won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum. Okay, guys, so the Oceanic Museum is actually where we saw the Team Magma Grunts. So let's go ahead and head down that way, then, and see if we can find Stern. I'm coming for you, Stern. I'm coming, man. I'm coming. I'm coming, Stern. Wait, was it this one? Was it? Was this it? I always get lost here. Yeah, this is it. All right, guys, we're going to be entering the Oceanic Museum. I saw a ton of Team Magma Grunts. I guess, you know, they're just going on a field trip. They're just trying to get educated. It's nice to see a team that likes to embrace their education, you know? I think I saw their bus parked in the back. They just, you know, they're just coming here to observe a little bit, just to check things out. You know, that's nice of them. It's very, very nice that they're getting the chance to do that. Now, I actually know some things they're going to be coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to Zagu, put Zagu up in front. And I think Stern is going to be located right here. Uh, yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a moment, we'll be taking those parts. Wh wh who are you people? We are Team Magma. Our bosses needed the parts in that, so relinquish it to us at once. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to be taking on Team Magma Grunts, and now I know what's going to be coming here. They're going to have some Fire-type Pokemon, which is going to make it very difficult on us. If you guys know, we're at a pretty big type disadvantage at this point, which is going to make it very, very difficult on us. I'm going to try my best, you know, to, to knock things out, but honestly, I'm a little nervous. I kind of just want to knock as many sand attacks as possible on Numo. That way, the accuracy goes down, and, you know, hopefully once our uh, Grovile comes out, we'll be able to do some good damage on it. It just, it makes me nervous because, you know, a fire type can pretty much obliterate our team at this point. But if I use enough sand attacks on it, I feel pretty confident that we'll be able to take it down. That's one of the good things of having Pokemon, you know, like this that can set up. We're just going to use as many sand attacks as we can. With that, there we go. We've pretty much used as many as we could. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the headbutt then. We're going to have Zagu fight this out. Zagu is going to go all in here. Zagu is going to pack a punch and do as much damage as possible before it goes down. We actually have two battles here. I'm pretty sure we have to take on both Team Magma Grunts. Oh my goodness, Zagu. Zagu is going in. Look at that, Zagu. Oh my goodness. If he misses another one, Zagu is about to take down the new Mel. Holy crap, guys. Zagu just went in. Zagu's going ham. Oh my goodness, Zagu. Look at you. I'm so proud of Zagu. Zagu just took down a new Mel. That's awesome. Great job, Zagu. See, guys? Every little team member counts. Every little team member helps. Zagu gained a bunch of XP. That is just amazing. Odor Sleuth, what is that? All right. Let's see. I probably won't forget anything for Odor Sleuth. Uh, it says, enables a ghost type to be hit by normal and fighting type attacks. This also enables an invasive target to be hit. Uh, you know what? Meh. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get rid of Tackle. Screw it, why not? We don't really need Tackle anymore. We have Headbutt. And with that, guys, we went ahead and learned Odor Sleuth, even though I don't think we're going to see any Ghost Types for a while. We gained some XP, and we defeated the Team Magma Grunt. All right, sweet. Great job, Zagu. That was really, really impressive. Absurd. I was defeated by myself. At this route, we become the target of the Boss Fury. Might really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while future Ace Grunt Team Magma. All right, here we go. The second battle's on its way. Let's see if Zagu can do it again. That was real good. That was real good. I'm proud of my team right now. All right, this guy's got two coming out. Um, okay, I don't think this one will be as bad unless, you know, if confusion start coming out, then it can be a little bit trippy. But I'm going to do the same exact thing, and I'm just going to start going for the sand attacks. Hey, if we can just, you know, use a ton of sand attacks on it, I think we'll be looking quite great. There we go. There we go. Let's go for the headbutt right off the bat, right off the bat. I'm not even going to mess around with the sand attack at this point. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, no. We're going to be confused. Dang it. That's too bad. That's too bad. I probably should have gone for another sand attack before anything. But it's okay. I believe. Do you guys believe? I believe. We're going to hit a crit. Oh, man. I really thought we were going to hit a crit there for, for a second. I was so excited. You know what? I believe, though. I believe. Zagu's been putting in some work. Come on, Zagu. Come on, Zagu. Oh, Zagu. You almost had it. Oh, man. That's going to do some serious damage on us, though. Ooh, 1 HP. I'm digging it, though. I am going to use a potion on Zagu. Because I don't know what the next Pokemon is. And if the next Pokemon... Uh, you know what? Um, I'm actually going to switch out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and switch out uh, Pokemon. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring out... Uh, I'll bring out Boomy. I'll bring out Boomy. Just to get it going. Because I, I'm not sure what the next Pokemon is. But if anything, you know, if it's another new Mel, 
I can heal up and, you know, just get it going. That's going to do a ton of damage to us. Of course, it's going to be super effective, uh, but we have Quick Attack, so it should be able to take it down. All right, guys, with that, the Quick Attack is going to take down Zubat. Let's hope it's not a new Mel. If it is, that's going to be so infuriating. I really don't want it to be a new Mel. Come on, be something else. Be something else. Mother fudger. Oh, my goodness. That is so freaking annoying. All right, I'm going to switch out. Oh, man. I'm going to go with Elric for now. And then it's pretty much going to come down to Zagu taking it down once again. So cross our fingers here, guys. Oh, I hate new Mel's. They're so freaking annoying. All right, here we go, guys. At least this one's only level 14. I think the other one was level 16, which at least makes it a little bit easier. All right, uh, what should I go for? Confusion or disarming voice? Let's go for the disarming voice. Maybe it'll do something to it. I don't know. Maybe it'll do a little bit. Yeah, that's what I figured. Didn't do a whole much. It's going for the tackle, though. That's okay. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to go for the confusion and just try to weaken it as much as possible. Oh, man. I'm, I'm honestly pretty nervous to take on this guy. Okay, focus energy. You do that. You do that. You go for the focus energy. If anything, I can probably take it down with a quick attack because I think this will send it pretty much... Oh, yeah. That, that's about as low as it's going to get. I think the attack... Oh, this is not even going to... What? Oh, my gosh. Is that a joke? Are you kidding me right now? There's no way that just happened. Okay. I think our Zagu is actually going to be faster than it. So I'm going to risk it and go. Why did I just go for the Odor Sleuth? Oh my gosh, guys. I just misclicked the crap out of that. Wow. I can't believe that. I can't believe I just did that. All right, Boomy. All right, Boomy. I cannot believe I just misclicked that. We better still win this battle. All right, let's go for the quick attack. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. All right. I was a little nervous there. That kind of shook me up. With that, we gained a bunch of XP. We defeated the Team Magma Grunt. And thank goodness we pulled that off. I was starting to get a little nervous. Not even going to lie to you guys. All right. With that, the Team Magma Grunts have been defeated. And uh, we'll see you fools later. Oh, my gosh. No. Please don't tell me I have to battle this guy. Oh, no. I'm not ready. No. I'm not ready. No. Now, here I was wondering how you could be held up in the simple act of seizing a case. Do I take it you're being stymied by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me of your fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. Yes, I think I can see why my lowly grunts cannot stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress and evolution. Indeed. And you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world. The land. It is the stage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so we are humans. We might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand. A land upon which we can stride forward. A land where we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis for the growth of all human endeavor. That is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of this world. Believe that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness for humanity, and consequently for a life. Hmm. I suppose the concept may still be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I've tried to open your mind. I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care that you never again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient the next time. I implore you to remember that. We are done here. Holy crap. I really thought Maxi was about to beat up on us. That made me real nervous there for a second. Young man. Ah, uh, Rodri, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh yes, I almost forgot that you brought the Devon parts for me. All right, guys, with that, we finally gave him the Devon parts. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this, and excuse me. All right, dude. See you later, Captain Stern, Mr. Stern, Dr. Stern, weird Stern guy. But with that, Team Magma has cleared out of the museum. Everyone's back in its place. But that was kind of a nerve-wracking experience. Those were probably some of the most intense battles I've had the chance to do. So next time, guys, we will continue here. My Pokemon need a rest. And I'll probably be doing some training at the beach to get them, you know, caught up a couple levels. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure you give this video a like. It really means a lot to me, and it really helps the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.